Hey Scrappers, Tom from Rockaway Recycling and today we want to talk about different grades of electronic circuit boards. First thing we're going to start out with is a high grade circuit board which we label as a green circuit board as you can see here. Now one of the reasons that these are considered high grade is because of the multiple places where there are chips containing gold. On this board over here you have one, two, three, four, five, six different connectors where you can clearly see the gold plated on the outside. When you look on the inside you can see the pin sticking out. This is also a high grade board because of the amount of processors that are on these chips. Of course these processors are very expensive and they have a value and that's why these become more valuable as green motherboards. Another example of a motherboard, this is from a desktop computer. Gold, 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 gold pins here, gold pins here, 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 and then on the ends there are gold pins inside of these little slots. Now while there is less gold on today's motherboards than the ones made in the 1990s and early 2000s, these still are very valuable. This does not have as many chips or processors as you can see. There's one here, there's a few soldered, but this is probably from a regular household desktop computer and someone took the CPU chip off to make more money with it. Now moving on to our next grade which is our mid-grade board. Now while this has many of the attachments that the green board that we just looked at does, there's a couple things to point out. These have gold pins here and here and throughout, but this customer left the heat sink on. With this heat sink being on, they got paid less money, and if you do take these heat sinks off, you'll start to see more CPU chips underneath. Now by taking these screws off conveniently on both sides, you can sell this as a clean aluminum copper heat sink. Sometimes these heat sinks on the top, if you scrap them, this one is made of aluminum, but many of these are also made of copper and you can make more money that way. These blue boards or brown or yellow boards are generally made in China, so when you look at them, they're going to have less gold on the board themselves, cheaper processors, and they're worth less money. Now the last grading of, of boards is going to be your low grade board. As you can see here, while there are some connectors and small pieces of copper, there are not a large amount of gold pieces connected to these. The only one I can see is here with a couple of chips, but when you look at this board, you see very few connectors, you see very few connecting lines, and these connecting lines, when you actually scratch them, underneath many times is either copper, aluminum, and in the old days, gold. So when you scratch a board like this and you see these copper connectors, as I'm showing you, that is where more of the value comes from. But when there's not a lot of these connecting pieces, as you can see, this is a big blank area, that means there's less money and that there's more plastic. These boards would come out of items like radios, VCRs, ovens, refrigerators, and other low-grade consumer electronics. Now, if you have other questions about boards when you get to Rockway Recycling, Cycling, by all means ask any of the team workers that are here, email us online, or check out some of our other pictures or videos. Until next time, I'll scrap you later.